that works. Let's start before the sticky falls. Yay! Ta da! Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Sun Dragon Side Show. The BSC edition, the most dangerous show of the week. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I am the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber and owner of the Birds Outside. Um, Sunny, but probably going to rain later today. Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. I have squirreled because <coughs> it's that little, like, is it a house sparrow or a finch or something? Little brown bird that visits us and eats the leftovers from the Bracken Mountain Breakfast Club. So the flakies they leave behind. So, and See, it already that <laughs> sticky's already gone on. Sticky's already gone. I found what remember yesterday if you were watching with us uh, how clean the table is scared us, and when I cleaned the table, oh look, I can see all this dirt I didn't clean up when I cleaned the table. But um, when I cleaned the table, I found a bunch of these. <laughs> None of them really have enough sticky to do any good, but I can recycle them for a little while. I need one of those little little like special effects. The <laughs> anyway hi hi how are you this morning mm. i'm tired we're both tired we're yeah, both, i you know. i stayed up too late because i was at one of those like season endings from castle where you had to keep watching because cliffhanger and even though i know what happens i don't totally remember what happens so i had to watch mm. so i went to bed late and then the cat woke me up um as he does in the middle of the night wanting to stalk me so i woke up earlier than normal because my neighbor was being mean revving his engine at six o'clock in the morning you speak so quietly sorry i'm just sitting here going oh the mic is picking her up i think it is but yeah see yeah. I, I feel like my theater background is like enunciate no i'm kidding um your neighbor was revving his engine? Yeah, like starting at six. And I was like... Which is about when I want to get up anyway. But that's me. I have time to continue sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but I will it say... I will say we both got in... I mean, for me, I got in... To use a, a New Englander phrase, wicked early for me. Um, I was in by like 8.30. You were still walking up to the shop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um our i think i told y'all yesterday that our sign did we lock the door i did good because they're walking up like we're open people were just walking up to the shop like we'd be open at 9 30 okay good the lead. sorry this is life at the shop um um i think i mentioned yesterday did i mention yesterday that the sign our no. sign got completely beat up in the rain on saturday like we had gale force winds and rain and people couldn't stay out under the gazebo because they were getting drenched um it it wasn't exactly the getting drenched oh because you were out there the lightning and the the lightning that was getting closer and closer well and i would i was surprised you didn't come in earlier because i was hearing the lightning we, and thunder the yeah. light there was a lightning strike like right over like it looked like it was in the alley on the like it was it was it, pretty close i mean i wasn't seeing that because i was inside but i was looking out because it was raining hard enough for me to hear it inside and, and it was raining sideways and um we decided to come in like when we that one and then it just kept feeling like it was closer and closer and then as we were coming in the wind picked up picked up the umbrella and it hit the umbrella against the pole oh yeah and yeah, so yeah. one of the arms of the umbrella like snapped One of and these umbrellas, flew yeah. across mm -hmm. and so we yeah it was but it, it was wasn't happening. necessarily the rain yeah. it was it was the well, extra once the they off. came in um we were and then it wasn't until it was over like it's some of the more violent wind rain thunder lightning that we've seen in a while yeah. downtown and that we've been here for and it, it wasn't until afterwards as we were like let's get ready to go that it was like wait we left the sign out and all that our a-frame sign i took the panoramic shot and then i'm like where's the sign what i'm gonna go <laughs> check and see if the sign is oh the sign is not there the mm -hmm. sign was laying down and one of the panels was down in the 
uh, parking, deck. parking deck underneath of us. Yeah. And I was like, oh. The now see the the panels are this corrugated plastic, and they um have been on their last steps for a while now. They're sun bleached. They're starting to disintegrate anyway, and the wind can pull them right out of the A-frame sign. Has like little flaps at the top, so you can slide them in and out, so you can change them. And I have I had new pieces ready to go. I just hadn't made the signs yet, so that one of them broke in half. Um, and the other one is is disintegrating more. Um, I was kind of ready for that. Like the the A frame itself has seen better days, but we think it's still functional for the time being. Like it's a little twisted, the tops of it and stuff. We we lost some screws keeping it together. But loose screws, hey, that's us. So, <laughs> um, so long story, incredibly long. I just made new signs for it. I'll put it up on social media later today. Um, that we I've been meaning to make some new signs for a while. So same information, just fresh signs. Um, but we got some stuff done, which means we only have 10, 15 minutes right now to talk to y'all from here on out. Not, you know, I, I didn't just waste the whole time telling you this story. I just wasted some of it. So, but today's the day we just talked about stuff we're putting on sale. Um, yeah. So and I'm gonna have my breakfast now. Thank you very much, um, at least part of it. Um, code product of the week will save you 15%. Today, we still have a code, the code, um, number five, Y-E-A-R, one, five percent sign will still save you 15% on everything in the store, which is August 10th is what I'm talking about. After August 10th for the rest of the week until next Wednesday, when we film again, you'll save 15% on what we will show you today with the code product of the week, the spaces between all the words. Not to be confusing at all. Okay, so Liz, what did you pick for us today? While I was making I, a sign, she was brainstorming. I picked a summery yarn because there's still a little bit of, you know, summer -ish. I still think of it as summer. I don't care yeah. if kids are going back to school. Yeah, or go back to it's school summer. is like the end of August. So it's still summer for us. I need to find the sample with this. Oh, but I forgot to pull that. Don't worry about it. Um, I think it's in a. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I pulled a winterish type yarn for those that want to start winter projects early, and our notion goes along with that. So, I mean, you could put our notion on the summer yarn. It might be kind of weird, but yeah. Um, why don't you pick? Why don't you read stats on the summer yarn? Okay. And I will go look for the sample. Sounds good. So our summer yarn that I picked out is Barocco Liana. It is 81% linen and 19% nylon. It's the nylon gives it this little shiny bits. And um anyway, it's kind of cool. It is machine washing cold, lay flat to dry. You get 140 yards per 50 grams. Mm -hmm. They're recommending a US 6 or a 4 millimeter knitting needle, a G hook or a 4 millimeter crochet. Yeah, and it's like Liz was saying, we have these shiny bits and we have these um, softer bits. Not quite a thin thick, but a little bit just a change in texture throughout it. And we've got all these fun different colors. So it's, it's variegated. Um, I found our sample. It is um, a shawl called Martinique and it's three hanks of each color of two different colors. This is the sample they sent us. So, so six hanks because these hanks or skeins are 50 grams each. Six skeins will get you something about this size. This is knit, not crochet. I started a crochet top with this and stalled out because I couldn't get my gauge right. But that's me. I'm my crochet is not on par with a lot of other people's. They did put a simple crocheted. Yeah, board. this 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 uses knit and crochet. That's right. I forgot about that. But um, we have two different colors in here, so you can see the variegated way that it knits up or crochets up. It's kind of fun. Um, Martinique. There there are a bunch of patterns on Ravelry designed for this yarn. Um. Liz is holding the two yarns that are in this sample. 
and we don't have names for the yarn we just have numbers the two i want to see if i put names online but i probably didn't um go ahead the two that is in there the blues it's like dark blue tealy blue there's some green some softer there's some light stuff colors. Yeah. I see like navy and the teals are yep. the ones that pop out at me the most. It's really pretty. Um, it is color 8277. It is just, it's not, the camera is not going to do it justice. I want to see one more. And the pastel um, it's got light blues, light yellow brellos, some orange, some peachy orange. It looks like a shirt. Um, it is 8276. We have um, we have a little booklet. We have two of these left that have all these really cute patterns in them. And it's $16. I don't think it's online. If you would like the booklet, we can offer product of the week, but you gotta like basically call the shop. I wanted to see if there are colorways in here, like names for them. There are. So I have to figure out what they are. Um, There was a not a colored card but at the front there was a, a thing with little boxes there yeah yeah but they don't have color names on them but, well that's not helpful no um <laughs> so uh i again i'll look online in just a second um wait can i see what the what the the shawl colors again let me find the shawl colors I want to say that the lighter one is called, is that 8276? Yes. It's Laelia, L-A-E-L-I-A, -L -L -E -L -I -A, Laelia is that color because there's a whole top done in that. And the other one is called Sage. 8277 is called Sage. I will make sure we put the color names on the online listing if we haven't already. Um, go cool. ahead. Um, we have... 8274 it's reds and navies and there's a little bit of a rusty orange and the that creams is. and let uh, me see i think they're only listing names might in... be a little brown in there too 8274 yeah i'm gonna see if that's in any of these keep going though um uh, 8276 honeysuckle Okay. 8274 is called Honeysuckle. All right. Then we have 8272. And it is this really, like, they're almost electric. So oh, the yeah. The purple it's, it's, and the it's blue. It's got more and jewel orange. tones, bright jewel tones. Yeah. And then the soft, like, a lot of the softer is the linen and the bright pop. 827, is, what? Uh, two. It's called Orchid. Very orchidy. Um, this one is almost a neutral. It's like I don't have names on in the online shop. I will try to get it done. What is that one? What's the this number? This one is it's neutral blues. Eight two seven nine. Eight two seven nine. If there's if there isn't one in the book, I'm gonna have to go to the website. But let me let me look through. It's blues. Like there's a whole bunch of different blues from navy all the way down to a very pale blue, and then there's little bits of brown, just little tiny bits. Of, like, oh yeah yeah and then eight two seven nine eight two seven nine passion flower okay passion flower and those are the ones we have right nope we have oh, two more. Oh. Never mind. yeah we have really random amounts of some of these um so what we have is what we have eight two seven three is like rainbow colors i really like that one a lot um like it's it's got all the colors it, of the rainbow in there yeah. Uh, 8273 is called Agave. I'm going to see if I can get to the Rocco site in case. And then 8271 is golds and browns with little bits of gray. That might it. be the one that's not in, in this pattern book. 8271. Yes. Like I feel like all the other colors are in this, but not that one. Um, it, let me see if I can find it very quickly before we move on. Um, Come on, we can do it. Do, do, do. So um, we had a friend who, oh, you know what? What? 
Oh, wait, add discontinued. Because I don't think they make this anymore. It's beautiful, though. Get it while you can to make fun things out of it. Um, I do want to address that when yarns are discontinued, like I'm trying to look it up now and I had to add in um, discontinued to find it. It doesn't mean it was a bad yarn. It means um, they they make so many yarns that they have to make some choices about what to carry or what not to. And sometimes that means that um, even a good yarn, sometimes I can't understand the decisions they make, like the colors they discontinued, like my sweater that I made and the other yarn. Um, it's like, but why, right? 8271 mm -hmm. is marigold. It's very marigoldy. Mm -hmm. I would, I would. It's got the golds and the browns and it's very pretty. I think if you want to make um, little cowls or things that would just be a nice accent for the summertime or when you go into air conditioning, that kind of thing, I think this would be beautiful. If you want to do something more like um, this shawl and get, see what we have enough of. And this shawl is beautiful and it's, and you don't have to do the crochet edging at the bottom, but it is a fun addition if you do both knit and crochet. I will say since, since this is a discontinued yarn, if anyone wants, like we have two books left, um, we can offer you 15% off on the books, 15, 50, 15 is what I was going to do anyway. It's it's a sixteen dollar booklet, eight dollars for it's got one two three, it's got six patterns in it. Again, I don't know how much yarn we have in, in the shop to actually make these patterns and things unless you mix and match, which is fun, but um, we might be able to offer something even better as we get down in stock. We still have the books left, but contact us if you'd like a book. All right, so that is one of the yarns we're doing. What else we got, Liz? We got to wrap it up soon. Actually. I know. I took too much time on that. We have lots of different colors Wednesday. of this. Oh, I didn't say what we were selling Liliana for. Sorry. 1350 retail. 1350 retail? Yep. Okay. Um, and then take 15% off yep. that this week. That's fantastic. So, um, yeah, the price tag's in a weird place. Um, the, so the winter yarn we're offering is Cascade Eco and Pure Alpaca. 100% um, alpaca, works for DK or worsted weight patterns. Yep. Like if you can see this, this, um, this is the Pikey hat, P-Y-K-E hat, which has cables in it. It's lovely, it's squishy, it's soft. It's the... Eco alpaca is some of the softest we have in the shop because when you it's undyed, it's even softer, but the dyed stuff is pretty colors and just a hair less soft, but still really soft. So you get 220 yards per hundred grams. They're recommending a US six or seven hand wash, lay flat to dry. We are retailing it for $20 and 95 cents this week. It's super squishy. It's got the yardage of a worsted weight. Um, it can work for DK weight patterns though really love it i want to say this hat which i made the slouchy version of still only took one skein which is wonderful and let's start with the um the ecos if we can the undyed ones um i'm gonna and and this is whatever we have in stock at this point because some things we have lots of stock and some things we don't this is black this one um fifteen twenty. this is black but it's actually brown undyed alpaca yarn the darkest you're going to get is a really, really super dark chocolatey brown, but it's called black because that's as close without dyeing it that you're going to get to a pure black. And for white, it's natural and it's, it's called natural. It's called natural. So. It's more of an off white, but that's beautiful. Again, if you want stark white in a natural fiber, you're probably going to have to bleach it and it will not feel as soft. We also have charcoal and oatmeal and the oatmeal is kind of more of a light gray they're yeah they're the oatmeal is like a light gray the charcoal is a charcoal it's the one that i did this hat out of it's a but they're both warm yeah on the warm side of light and dark gray um and then the other eco alpacas we have i think they they stopped making they're transitioning out of a lot of these multi-ply ones these have three different colors in them we've got one that's three different shades of gray and it's a cooler looking gray it's called Silver Twist. The The twisty ones are beautiful to look at and fun to knit with. They're, they're a little more splitty, I think, because 
the fibers, like the the strands are from different colored animals to have them be undyed. Whereas that's all the same animal, basically the same alpaca. So, and then the other one we have is um, pepper twist and it has like the, the black, the dark brown, um, it's got like four colors in it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I always thought there were three. It's got um, two different shades of medium brown. One is a more of a gray brown. One is a more of a um, walnutty brown and a cream in this one. So they're fun. We have some brights. These are the pure alpaca. I think I have all of these in one listing. Yep. Um, but the ones that are dyed will be called pure alpaca versus the eco alpaca. We have a golden heather, which is a nice proper. It's a golden goldeny, heather. it's got a little bit of mustardy heatheredness to it. Like the heather just is beautiful on the ones that are heathered. Pure magenta. That one's it not is... so heathered. No. But it's a nice magenta raspberry color. Yeah. It's a nice bright color. Pure chive. It's a nice green. Yeah. It's a it's a dark it's a green. and medium green. Mm -hmm. We have that's more of a plant. blackberry blackberry and okay. it looks like the color when you smush blackberries on your fingers, on your fingers it's like yeah. not like yeah it's that purpley and then my favorite Ruby. she's speeding up as she goes <laughs> um okay we've got blue heather which this is this is very much of a jewel tone blue right um bright sapphire blue i would call that one we have a, a pure azure which is more of a teal, you say it's a, it's like a tealy aqua yeah. color. Um, we have mineral red is really more of like almost a coral. It's like coral, but it's not super warm is how I would best describe the mineral red. Um, if you want red, red, go with the ruby. We have pure acai, A-C-A-I, however you say that, the acai or acai berry, you know, it is more of um it's like a blueberry color kind of. Yeah. It's 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 a softer, not super intense blue. It's almost kind of a denim. -y. And then we have pure night sky, as close as we're gonna get to a navy. It's when we're filming, it's not as dark as I'm seeing on the screen, but it's a it's soft a pretty navy. blue. Yeah. So that is the alpaca. If you love 100 percent alpaca and you don't want it super, super thick, these are gorgeous. Um, did you said the retail, right? The I 20. Did. I do remember you saying something about 2095 or 20 something. So um, our last thing to do really, really quickly, because we have to go open up the shop, is um bow for pom poms. Yeah. Most of them are 1125 and then yep. the fancier ones like this are 1225 regular price. Code product of the week saves you uh 15% off. These are really cool because they have snaps on the back. So you take the small part of the snap and sew it onto your hat or whatever you're making. And then you can snap it in place and you can take the pom-pom on and off. Say if you have to wash what you're doing, like even hand washing this guy. Um, let me go through the fancy ones. We have Northern Raven, which is black with accents of white and electric blue on it. That's Northern Raven. Um, these are the ones that are 1225. We have Violet Backed Starling. And this one is almost like Neapolitan ice cream where it's got red and purple and black, like black frosted tips on all of this. But we've got, yeah, that's right. This is a pink. There's a, there's a bright red and there's a lavender and a light pink underneath this. And they all look different. They all have these colors in different places. And then we also have Nico Bar Pigeon. And this one is different shades of brown. It's like really dark brown with um, sh like caramel brown highlights on it. So those are the fancier ones of what we have. This one is Firefox. It's kind of a rosy orange. Well, it's a pretty good. I was just like, hold up a little bit because we got this mountain of yarn. Yeah, it's kind of almost got a corally tone. Like, look, these colors would go well together or like almost match this one and the mineral red. A damn. Yes. I can't ever read that name. Um, blue budger budgerigar. I think I bet it's a bird. Um, this one is more periwinkle. Mm -hmm. 
with some frosted black and white in it. And then we have one that doesn't have the black tips. It's, it's like royal pea fowl. And it's a denim, light denim. -y it's denim. -y. It's close to the to the periwinkle, but not quite. And that one doesn't have the it only has white frosted tips, whereas this has white and black frosted tips. The pea fowl is the blue, whereas this one is the the more um periwinkle. Okay, the the Roger Gergard, I one. Okay. We have a Siberian wolf and it's all nice gray. It's a silver gray. Yeah. Ta-da, silver gray. Got the gal of the neutrals because they'll go with like almost everything. Siberian lynx. It's like got the darker brown in the bottom and then the frosted, the frosted. tips mm -hmm. to give it that. These are the for real palms, by the way. I don't know if we we, we just said both for palms. They're called for real palms. So. Uh, this one is panther. It's black. It's black. Yay, black. This one is sandpiper. It's like a creamy natural. Yes, it's it's not white. It's like an off white, and there's a little bit of variety to the color to it. We have the two whites. We have this one's white with black tips, and it is called snowy owl. Has black frosted tips, and arctic fox does not. It's just white. Arctic it's fox, if you want just white. We have, we have so many of these and we're supposed to be opening the shop right now. Backed jackal. Which and... is, it's it's a little bit, um, it's more a little bit light brown than than the um, the sandpiper and, and it's it got black, black frosted tips. tips. We have two pinks. We have the light pink, which is rose gala. And this one's more mauve. It's called purple finch. And they both have frosted black tips. Frosted black tips. Gotta love it. Okay, awesome. All of these are 15% off. I will get them up online. Join us tomorrow for Dear Becky and Lizzie. I mean, I'm not going to go through schedule and everything right now because we're running late. But Dear Becky and Lizzie, tomorrow morning, we will expound upon things, knitting and crochet that we choose if you don't send us an email. And if you're going to send us an email, you're going to email Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. She's ready to go open the shop. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the fun stuff.